वेलकम बैक टू पैथोजेनेसिस वे वी अंडरस्टैंड द डिजीज इफ दिस इज योर फर्स्ट टाइम हेयर डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब एंड क्लिक द बेल आइकन सो दैट यू डोंट मिस एनी अपडेट्स लेट्स मूव टू टी सेल डेवलपमेंट डू वी नीड टू नो द आंसर इज येस मैनी आर टाइम्स इन फ्लो साइटोमेट्री वी गेट अ सैम्पल फ्रॉम अ लिम्फ नोड और पेरफ्रल ब्लड टू बी टेस्टेड फॉर प्रेजेंस ऑफ लिम्फोमा or leukemia however lymph node might be having a reactive t cell proliferation due to infection or peripheral blood lymphocytosis may be reactive so now the question arises how do we differentiate knowing the cd markers present on t cell precursors and mature t cells help us to interpret flow cytometry plots and separate a benign t proliferation from a malignant one Both B and T lymphocytes develop from lymphoid progenitor cell. Many of you must have heard the word hematogonous. These progenitor cells are known as hematogonous. These precursors are CD34 positive, CD38 positive, CD10 positive and TDT positive. These are important because we may get bone marrow samples in cases of leukemia post treatment. These post treatment bone marrows especially in children have hyperplasia of hematogonous which must which must be differentiated from leukemic blast T cell development begins in the bone marrow to form progenitor T cells that undergo maturation and acquisition of function in the thymus and later in the peripheral lymphoid tissues such as blood spleen skin and mucosa let's begin with the first stage of t cell development that is prothymocytes what are these prothymocytes also known as pro t cells they are the first cells which commit to develop t cells from common lymphoid progenitor cells in the marrow they are positive for cd7 CD34 TDT and cytoplasmic CD3 and are characterized by a germline configuration of TCR beta chain they are referred to as triple negative cells due to lack of expression of CD4 CD8 and surface CD3 further differentiation occurs in the thymic cortex through several stages pro t cells through the blood stream reach the subcapsular region of thymic cortex and mature into pre t cells pre t cells are characterized by expression of tdt cd7 cd2 and cd5 cd3 and cd7 are pan t cell markers that is they are present at all stages of t lymphocyte so even pre t cells express cd3 but it is cytoplasmic cd34 may be present in the first two stages and is never expressed beyond pre t cd2 is expressed pre t stage onwards they are initially negative for both cd4 and cd8 also known as double negative t cells Pre T cells move from the subcapsular region to the cortex where they mature into cortical thymocytes. In the thymic cortex, double negative T cells lose CD34 and start to differentiate into double positive T cells that are CD4 and CD8 positive. This happens through several stages. CD1A is expressed only on cortical T lymphocytes. Cortical lymphocytes then move to the thymic medulla where the cortical double positive cells finish the differentiation process becoming either CD4 or CD8 positive medullary T lymphocytes They lose TDT and CD1A Medullary thymocytes have a phenotype of mature T cells which are either alpha beta or gamma delta positive and demonstrate non germline patterns of tcr gamma or tcr delta genes 
Mature T cells are characterized by membrane expression of CD3. These cells then enter the blood as mature T helper that is CD4 positive or T suppressor also known as cytotoxic CD8 positive cells. Let's quickly summarize what we have learned till now. Uh, the following table summarizes the maturation of T cells. There are four stages of T cell development. Pan T cell markers are CD7 and CD3. CD3 moves to the surface at medullary stage. CD34 lost after pre T stage. CD2 appears from pre T stage. CD1A is seen only on cortical stage. CD4 and CD8 expression. If cells show both, it is cortical T cell. Medullary T cells express either 4 or 8. A normal mature T cell versus immature T cell or T lineage blast can be identified by the absence of surface CD3 on immature T cells. T acute lymphoblastic leukemia can originate from all four stages and is classified on the basis of cell of origin into pro T, pre T, cortical T, and mature T cell acute lymphoblastic leukemia. T lymphoblastic lymphoma and thymoma originate from the cortical and medullary T cells. Peripheral mature T lymphocytes circulate in the peripheral blood and reside in lymph nodes. They give rise to all of the peripheral chronic leukemias and peripheral T cell lymphomas. If you have any questions regarding identification of T cells on flow cytometry, do ask us in the comment section. B and T lymphocytes develop from lymphoid progenitor cell as we have seen in previous video. If you guys have not seen our previous videos on B cell development and CD markers, there is a link above which you can click to, to get a quick recap of B cell development and what CD markers are. If you are new to flow cytometry, we have also covered the basics and principle of flow cytometry including flow cytometry machine in another video, the link of which I will be sharing down in my description. It is recommended that you see our previous videos on the basics of flow cytometry and what hematopoiesis and CD markers are and how they help us in interpretation of flow cytometry plots before we move forward to, to learn about B and T cell development. Let's move to NK cell development as a part of hematopoiesis. NK cells also originate from the common lymphoid progenitor cells and have a series of CD markers that define them. We have already learned the markers on lymphoid progenitor cells. NK cell precursors are also positive for CD34, CD38, CD7 and CD10. All of these CD markers are lost in mature NK cells except CD7. CD56 is bright and CD16 is dim on precursors whereas CD16 turns bright on maturation and CD56 gets dimmer with maturation. They give rise to various NK cell leukemias and NK cell lymphomas. Thank you for listening guys. Hope you now have a clear understanding about T cell and NK cell development. If you are liked our video. Please press the like button and don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss updates about our next video. See you soon in our next video. Till then, take care.